She'll fall off the cruise ship. <laughs> yeah? Okay, yeah, I'll do it. Don't drink yet, because I'll do it. Good morning, everybody. We're on the elevator on the in the hotel on our way to the cruise ship. There's Uncle Chris. Good morning, Uncle Chris. Good morning. Big day today. Hey, Mikey, can I get you this one too? We have a lot of luggage because we're going on the last go. We're going on an Alaskan cruise, and you know, there's cold and hot and all that stuff, right, Chris? Did you pack more than normal? So I brought my ice pick and I brought, and I brought my baby suit. So I have no <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's already here. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Nana. How are you? I'm good. Are you ready to cruise? I am ready. Let's do it. Good morning, Uncle Tom. Hey there. How are you? Oh, everybody's doing their work. Good, thank you guys. It's Friday, it's a work day, so everybody's still trying to get their work in before we jump on the cruise. That's why I was late and didn't get to make it to dinner. I was working, getting these videos up for you guys, so hopefully you'll see videos while I'm gone. Hi, I'm Michelle Lee. How are you? Great, thank you. There's Pap. I'm all set. I'm sorry we missed breakfast. I was working. Was it good? We just, I just got to go. Oh, no. You guys were near the airport, can you tell? Should I do it now? Yeah, when should I do it? Or should I do it when we get there? Uh, maybe when we get there. How about if I do it on the van? Are we the only people in the van? Yeah. I'll do it on the van. Okay. Hi, Mike. Hi, sir. Where are we going? We're going to the cruise ship. We are 91. I love it. Here we Thank go. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Wasted money on cures. Forgot how to fix myself. They say that Tom is free. Then why is it so precious? the video for just a quick second. I realized that I completely forgot to tell you what the itinerary of our cruise is. We fly from Florida to Seattle. We spend the night in Seattle. And then day one of the cruise, we cruise out of the beautiful port of Seattle and head north. Day two is at sea. Day three, we land in the beautiful port of Ketchikan, Alaska, a sweet little fishing village. Day four, we sail up the Endicott Arm to the Dawes Glacier. And then the second half of the day is spent in Juneau, Alaska, the capital of the state. Day five, we go to the beautiful port town of Skagway. And that's as far north as we're gonna go. Skagway is this pioneer mining town where they mined for gold. Day six is going to be another Another day at sea, we're going to head back down south. Day seven is spent at the beautiful port of Victoria, British Columbia. And then day eight, we cruise back to Seattle and end our amazing journey. All right, so now you have the itinerary. Let's get back to the video. So fast. We are going really fast, you guys. We are spinning this baby around. So, Mike, we should be on the other side when we take off so we can see the city. Gorgeous. And look at this uh, Space Needle. 
awesome. Can you guys comment down below if you live in Seattle or if you've been to Seattle? There's another ship over there. That's the Ovation of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. It's been a while since we've been on a seven night cruise. We are thrilled. Having a great time. Okay, so we are back in our room now, getting ready for dinner. And I realized that this is a boarding the ship video and I never even showed you our cabin yet. So we are on the 12th floor and this is quite a 12th deck, I should say. We're on a ship, <laughs> get my nomenclature correct. This is quite a treat for us. We are actually on the concierge level, which is super duper fun. Something we've never done before. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's doing the concierge dance. There's a few extra perks that come along with being in the concierge room, uh, being in a concierge level. This is the room's a teeny bit bigger, not a whole bunch bigger, um, but we do get a couple extra amenities. <laughs> So let me take a minute and just show you around the room. And there's a few other things that we get for being on an Alaska cruise that you don't normally get on a regular cruise. So take a look. All right, so start outside. Our room is 2139. And this, these are, if you guys watched yesterday's video, thank you, Michael. These are the magnets that we got for to celebrate our family cruise, Hamer, Alaska. Hamer's on ice. Hello, Mike. May we come in? Absolutely welcome. Thank forward. you. All right, so this is our room. Um, the bathroom is right over here. It's, it's, it seems to be more sizable than our regular we, head. I'm sorry, it's a head. Than the bathrooms that we've had, than the head, sorry, that we've had on other ships before. I don't know. It's still not humongous, but I mean, totally sizable enough for us. I love on the celebrity how they do the um, curved doors. This is so cool. So they go like this and like this. Anyway, I've got the towel on the bottom. That's why it's not sliding, but they slide shut like that. So anyway, there's plenty of room here for all of our toiletries. And there's even more room down here, which we haven't even used. You'll notice, it's funny, like when you get on a ship and you're like, oh my gosh, these cabins are so small. How are we going to fit in them? The storage space is ridiculous. There's actually spaces, more than just that, that we haven't even filled up yet, haven't even used. And the two of us, I brought two suitcases. I mean, I brought so much stuff. Again, because it's in Alaska. No, it's an Alaska cruise, Mike. You have to bring puffy stuff. There's a bathing suit. Can you believe on an Alaska cruise, the very first day in Seattle, it was nice enough to hang out at the pool. It was absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So then there's our closet right there. We have our stuff hanging in the closet. And I bought, I've never done this before, but I bought some magnetic hooks. So look, I brought these and they stick to the wall. And I have a lot of them. One, two, I think I got 24 or four, 12 of them. Three. Um, I don't think that's worth it. Though. Four, five. Well, I'm realizing now this cabin is big enough. I don't even need it. Yeah. I really don't need it. Now, it might be, it might, the situation might change a little bit. Like when we get back from one of our excursions and if we have wet clothing or oh, something like that, we might want to hang those on the wall. Here, do this. Yeah, see, there you go. Good point. That's a great point. Okay, there you have it. So I'm not, I'm not bailing on those yet, okay. but anyway, I, they, they're really not needed for storage. But look at up there, this is a storage area as well. Mike has just a bag up there with all the empty space. And I put a pair of shoes up there just because, I mean, they fit in the closet, but I put them up there anyway, <laughs> and my purse. So there's plenty of storage space left. Over here, and now over here we have our drawers. I've taken up this whole drawer section, <laughs> except I didn't even use the bottom drawer. There's nothing in the bottom drawer. And then our TV, and this is where our little desk is. And I think this pulls out, I'm not exactly sure. We don't need it, because it's just the two of us, but we have a little table, so we can use it as a little couch. And then, uh, this is always my favorite part, is the balcony. So on the concierge, level. Oh, the only reason I know this is because I went to my brother's room and he's not concierge. They didn't have this, so I'm assuming it's the case. Everybody has a balcony that's this size and a table too, which we've never had on our ships before, a table like that. But the, the concierge level has these little foot things, these little foot rests, and the other balconies just have, or verandas just have those chairs. So anyway, this is our view. We, it has been so beautiful. Sorry guys, it's windy. It's been so beautiful sailing out of Seattle. So pretty. The mountains are gorgeous. The huge palm trees. It's just so calm and peaceful. And it's not really that chilly yet, but I do have a little wrap that I'll probably bring with me tonight to dinner just in case, because I think it's going to be, I think it probably will get chilly and a little bit windy out on the deck when we walk like after dinner or have to go out on the deck to go places. So anyway, that is our room tour. And I am very much, Welcome and, uh, aboard. Welcome aboard. That's exactly right, Mike. I'm very much looking forward to this cruise. It, I'm 
thrilled to be here with my family. I am thrilled to be going to somewhere new. It was so fun to, to cruise out of a new port. Um, and I have no idea what's in store for us, but oh I'm gosh. really excited Plus, about it. Plus, we're going to have, so we have um, some valuable tips, I think. Oh. Yes. Like? Um, well, when you go to get a burger and fries, yeah. you can also get a beer. <laughs> So you don't have to wait in line at the bar. Exactly. You can just get the drink. Yeah, just yeah. Right. Mike, okay, great. Cool so trips. you're sharing those around because we've, we've cruised celebrities our fourth time now on celebrity yeah. ships. So you're sharing these little tips with our yes. family. So yeah. we'll, we'll share those as we go. <laughs> okay, if you want to know them. Excellent. All right, so we're going to go to, actually, we're not going to dinner yet. We're going to cruise around the ship because this is, we are on the summer solstice. Uh, summer solstice. That's the name of our, our old sailboat. We are on the celebrity solstice and we um, have never been on this ship before. So we're going to, tour ourselves around the ship and then we're going to go meet at the martini bar and uh, meet all of the adults for dinner and then we're going to head off to dinner. Alright guys, so I was just watching the show downstairs on my way to go to bed. I get in the elevator and look at the dancers are in the elevator and I look around and they're in every elevator. This is nuts. You guys are awesome. What are your names? Are you to talk? Yeah. Keely. Keely. <laughs> and I'm Haley. Where are you guys from? I'm just Haley. Okay, guys, that was the craziest thing ever. You should have seen my face. I was just watching the show. Like, I was standing on the balcony. There's like a, an atrium in the cruise ship, right? And you can stand like three different levels and look down and the band was down there and then there were all these dancers. They were doing this show and sort of like up and down the stairs and everything. So people on all the different balconies were watching. So I watched and I'm like, okay, this is excellent, but they just finished the song, so I'm gonna head to bed. So I go to get in the elevator, the door opens, and there's two of the dancers in the elevator. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I had to film. That was crazy. But if you guys wanna see the last time we cruised with um, my parents, my brothers and sisters, our whole family, as a matter of fact, the kids were with us as well, take a look at these two playlists from when we cruised and celebrated my dad's um, surprise birthday party.